Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can use Python to manage Microsoft Fabric One Lake. So you have something called lake houses, right? In the fabric. So inside that lake houses, you have something called files folder, and inside that we keep the files and folders, right? I hope you already know that. Uh, if you haven't watched my previous videos in this playlist, please watch that so that you will get most sense of it. So now, if you have data there, now via program I wanted to connect to that one lake or lake house and maybe list down the uh, files or folders in it. Okay, so that is one operations which this documentation is pointing. You can do anything programmatically. So especially if you want to do that using Python code, then how to do that? So let's try to understand that. So if you go through this documentation, I will provide the link of this documentation in the description as well. So if you go through this documentation, you see that step one is you need to install some packages. There is something called storage file data lake package and there is something called Azure identity package. These two packages we have to install in our system. Then only it will work basically. Okay. So because uh, if you are running Python in your local system from your local system, you should be capable enough to connect to your uh, fabric and do the things. So these packages, which will basically help to work with the data lake storage as well. The same packages we can use in case of fabric one lake two. So we have to install these two packages to install that, right? There are two ways. Either you can go to the PowerShell. So let me open PowerShell ISC uh, integrated scripting environment, or you can type PowerShell and open the PowerShell console. So le let me open as run, ad run as administrator. Now, in this particular console, I can write like so I want to install that right so I can say like pip install then the package names I can mention it here. Uh, I hope you guys can able to say right so pip install then I can mention the package names. So let me copy that. Uh, so I'm just copying these two. Now here I'm going here and let me remove this command whatever I entered and I just pasted it. So now if you can clearly see this so pip install then this is one package name and then this is another package name. So these two packages we have to install. I think I have already installed it. So let me hit enter. So if I have not already installed, it will try to install it. But you can clearly see these messages. It says that already satisfied, already satisfied. That means I have already installed the packages. Okay. So that is the first prerequisite. And these SDK packages in the Python will help you to work with the one leg. Okay. So once you do that, you need to authorize that using this default credential. Okay. So there is something called this default credential function that will try to authenticate you. So if my Python program going and talking with a fabric, my program should know, right? I mean, the fabric should allow me, right? Uh, randomly somebody comes like anonymous, then it will not allow. So you should have authentication. You should have your credentials correctly and all. So this function will take care of that things. Okay. So if you scroll down this documentation till the end, you have the entire sample code here. Copy this entire code and go to the Visual Studio code. You can hit this plus icon button and create a new Python file and paste the code there. So I have already did that. If you see this one leg.py file and uh, let me see this code is actually exactly same code what we have seen in the documentation. So in this code, right? I just changed these three variables. If you see here, here, account name so let me select that so here account name one second so here account name one leg and then workspace name whatever your fabric workspace so that workspace name and the path at which level at, at what path you want to list down the folders and files right so that path you have to give it here okay so i got all this information from my fabric so if i go to the fabric url and you can clearly see this here so this is my workspace called Mahir demo workspace and I have a lake house called sample lake house and if I go inside the lake house, I have that particular path whatever I am showing in the code. So which path I am showing? I am showing this sample lake house only then files data sales project. Okay, so let's go to the fabric uh, the lake house and here you can see I am in the files then data sample project, right? So this path. So whatever the path you are seeing here to this part, I am trying to list down all these folders and recursively the files in it. Okay, so that's what I am trying 
via this sample code from the documentation. If you see the function here in the definition main function, right? You see whatever the account name we gave, right? So that account name variable get replaced here. And you see here the code, the token credential, this particular line will get will will be actually checking your Azure credentials using this uh, default credential function. Okay. So where and all it will check is if you can see this documentation, right? It will check for the credentials via service principle in the environment variable of the system or the identity credentials or the managed identity, the fabric managed identity or it will check the credentials in Azure CLI or it will check the credentials in Azure PowerShell in your local system. At various places, it will check for the credentials. Wherever it will found the credentials, it will take that credentials and do the job for you. So if I go back to my code, right? So I am using this particular function for getting the credentials. And once that is there, I am getting the service client for that particular fabric account. And then on top of the service client, we have the get file system. And I am getting the file system of the workspace. And then on top of that file system, I am giving my path where I have to list down the folders and files and entire thing will come as an array here and I am simply listing down the things. So that's what I am doing in this entire code. And then finally, I'm calling this main function, whatever I created it. So basically, if you if I can clearly say that I am making the authentication here, then creating the uh, service client for the fabric account, then creating the file system client for that particular lake house and then I am giving the path where I want to list down the files and folders and getting that entire files and folders as an array and simply printing them. So code is pretty straightforward, right? So now if I try to run this code by executing command this python exe, then run the python lake.py file. So when I hit enter, uh, it should not work because the credentials should available, right? This default Azure credential object or function will look for the credentials at various places as I said in the environment variables or in other places and that is the reason if you see this error it is saying the same thing I checked in the environment variables it is not there I checked somewhere else it is not there I checked somewhere else it is not there in the Azure CLI also it is not there in the Azure PowerShell also it is not there right it is complaining that so what we can do in my system I already installed Azure Power System PowerShell so I can execute this command uh, this will help me to connect with my Azure account that way the authentication will happen and uh, since the authentication is there automatically the default client credentials function will work successfully and without error we can able to list down the folders and files from the lake house. Okay, so let's do one thing. So let me go to the PowerShell SLI here and let me clear this. So here right. So to install PowerShell right you what you can see right one. So one can execute this command install module then name is a so if you can execute this command then this command will install the Azure PowerShell so I have already done it so what I will do now is I will try to connect to it so I will try to use that connect then hyphen Azure account right connect hyphen is a account okay so I will run this command the moment I run it right, it will prompt me to select your authentication details. See, it is going to the browser and this is where I have to enter my ID and password to authenticate myself with the Azure or Fabric behind the scenes. So I'm just selecting my ID here. So once the authentication completes, right, it will show the uh, message saying that authentication complete. I hope you guys can able to see that, right? Authentication complete. That means indirectly in my system, in the PowerShell, my authentication details are here. You can see this authentication details here as well. Okay, so my authentication details are there in my system now. So now what I can do, I can directly run this code once again. And if I run this code once again, right, then automatically, right, if I run this code once again and automatically it will work fine without any issue. Okay, so it will, this function will take care of authentication, authenticating the things because it will found the credentials in the Azure PowerShell then automatically it will list down all these folders and files from this particular path. So let's go to the code and let me clear this here and let me rerun this here. You can see here, right? I am executing the command this. So when I hit enter, 
this time it should run and uh, list down all my folders and files that indirectly tells that I am able to use the Python uh, SDKs uh, or, or the packages to successfully work with the one lake in the fabric workspace. So you can see execution completes and you can see it is listing down that uh, like customer folder then this file products folder sales folder all the files in that right so it is able to list down everything so this is how python sdk one can use to work with the one leg it is a straightforward code from here okay we can explore this code uh, so main thing to remember is or we no need to remember basically we should have a sense that when i am working with uh, one leg I should install some packages which is Azure storage file data lake and Azure identity package. This Azure identity package helps you to authenticate. Then this Azure storage file data lake package help you to work with that folders and files in the one lake. Okay. And these packages are the same packages which will even help when you are working with the ADLS Gen 2 as well. Okay. So I hope you got a sense. Uh, try this documentation. I will provide the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, have a nice day. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much.